says, uh, for these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. Right? And woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. Yep. For there shall be great distress in the land, and wrath, and wrath upon this people. There you go. Give them a new wine. That was a warning. See? And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. Yep. And they shall be led away captive into, into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of, of the Gentiles be fulfilled. See, it should be led into all nations, man. Basically, she didn't agree with that. She said that we were already there. Now, when we said we were already there, yes, the Northern Kingdom was already there. But she doesn't even regard them as, she doesn't even regard herself as an Israelite. She doesn't even believe in the Bible. So, but that shows you the Messiah warned us there'll be a time where Jerusalem's surrounded with armies so flee to the mountains and the mountains is where Egypt and Egypt is where Africa man and you can walk it because you know the Palestinians they used to have tunnels going to Egypt and what they did they got the Amalekites to concrete all the tunnels man cemented them now they can't go underground and go to Egypt and they used to get their stuff from Egypt so they're more or less trapped all right but how did we get there? She still never answered that question. How did we get over to America? Oh, we were there already. And she's talking about blacks. She doesn't know anything, man. Where did she get that word from black and you? Yeah, from her enemy, where, man. Where did she get that from black? Black, call myself black. Your ancient ancestors call themselves that? Oh, they get together and get say, let's that. call ourselves black. <laughs> yeah, for real. Let's, let's, let's agree that we are now black. But when, where, where did he get that from, black? Yeah. Yeah, but when we were under the Romans, right? You know, they used to call us Moors and Barbarians. Once we took over, we had, um, what's it called? King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. Mm. Now, how many um, uh, knights was there? Twelve. Twelve, man. Yeah. There were twelve knights. They got a new film with some crackers in the army called The Twelve. You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, The Twelve. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, Planet of the Apes. The guy goes, listen, I've put twelve monkeys down already. You can do the last one. Yeah. So they're showing you, man. A but, vibration, isn't yeah, it? 12, Esau yeah. knows. 12, 12, 12. Really, Esau is giving you a compliment. He's saying, listen, you guys are really important, man. Do you know what I mean? But these niggas don't want to be the chosen. But hey, you got that John 15, you, 22? You speak, you speak, yeah, yeah, go on. Read that one. Matthews 9 and 17. Neither do men put new wine into old bottles. Oh, else God. the bottles break and the wine runneth out and the bottles perish, but they put new wine into new bottles and both are preserved. Yes. There you go. It's old, basically. That's why the Lord, uh, there's a scripture where it says, um, in the days of thy youth, the Lord yeah. deals with young people or something like that. Yeah, remember uh, the, the creator in the day of thy youth, yeah, remember. before the evil days come nigh. Yeah, yeah. Do you know that scripture? Remember, what's, what is it? Ecclesiastes 12. Yeah, Ecclesiastes 12. 12 and 1, yeah? I get up. Yeah, yeah, get that one. What did I tell you to get, sorry? 12 and 7. Yeah, so there's so many prophecies showing that the Lord was going to give us into the hand of the enemy. That's why you niggas, because you don't know this, you think that the white man is God because you think, we're so strong and how did he take us down? But the Lord gave us into their hands, man. And you should be ashamed of that, man. I was thinking about that the other day, that we were so wicked, the Lord gave us into the wickedest, like Malcolm X said, this is the wickedest, cruelest slave master ever been, man. It should really be um, yeah, uh, a humbling experience to think we were so wicked, the Lord gave us into the hands of... Yeah, because he's our man, number one enemy. Yeah, the man of sin. Yeah, yeah the number one of, enemy. Yeah, the yeah. man of wickedness. Yeah. The man of wickedness. That's how bad we were, man. You should be ashamed of that, man. Because even the land, he says, uh, he gave it to the worst of the heathens. Mm. Uh, I don't know, oh, the worst of the heathens. Yeah. yeah. I've never heard that. Yeah, yeah. I've never the heard worst that scripture. Of the heathens. Yeah. If you could find that scripture, man. Yeah, I'll get it. And they are the worst of the heathens. They are. Oh, but Diet tells you that as well. Yeah. So, what one did you have? Go ahead, go ahead there. Go on. 12. All right, read that one. This is Jeremiah 12 and 7. Yep. I have forsaken mine house. I have left mine heritage. I have given the dearly beloved of my soul into the hand of her enemies. There you go and of the enemies man and that's what the slave trade is about and i've got this thing what's it called um the it's a brilliant yeah yeah okay a bit more yeah verse eight it says 
Mine heritage is unto me as a lion in the forest. It crieth out against me, therefore I have hated it. There you go, man. That's how the Lord hated our wickedness, man. That's why he gave us into the hands of our enemies. But he said he loves us forever. Any more than that? Get um, uh, first, first Kings 10 and 9. You got, you got that one? One you saw before. Oh, you got something, yeah? And right, the song of the three holy children of uh, verse, verse 8. In verse 7, in all things have we trespassed and not obeyed thy commandments, nor kept them, neither done as thou hast commanded us, that it might, it might go well with us. Wherefore, all that thou hast brought upon us, and everything that thou hast done to us, thou hast done in true judgment, and thou didst deliver us into the hands of lawless enemies, most hateful forsakers of the Most High and to an unjust king and the most wicked in all the world. There you wow. go, man. The most, that's powerful. The most wicked in all the world. And who's the wicked? Who's the wicked, man? Hold that one. Get Malachi 1 and 4. And that's why we got to uh, uh, keep bringing out the uh, uh, scripture and bring out a precept to back it up because a lot of you Israelites, you've got a short attention span, man. You're very, you know, like, when you watch a, a, a TV program with Jake, the first five minutes, if it's boring, they just change the channel, man. They've got low, I mean, I don't know what's going on with their their minds. Oh, this is boring, man. Yeah, but it's about, it's about your heritage. Yeah, but this is long. Yeah, what, yeah what's his name's on? Love and Hip Hop. In America, they've got this thing called Love and Hip Hop. <laughs> they love it, man. That, that bitch is from there, isn't it? Cardi B or whatever, man. I've got to keep hearing this bitch's oh, I'm name. Make, no, no, the video no, no. I'm doing, yeah. it's got a picture of this bitch. Like Nicki Minaj. Yeah, she's a, nut, she's a new Nicki Minaj. Oh, okay. I've never heard of this yeah. bitch. I've never seen her before. And and um, the video I'm, I'm doing, they got a picture of, a, I think it's an album cover, and she's got a bottle of, of Remy or some alcohol, some nigger drink, yeah? And she's got her legs open and a man's head's in there. Oh my god. Yeah, she's man. She's out of a fucking I mind. mean, when I saw the picture, I was like, <laughs> I was like, wow, She's man. She's gonna get a missile right from Russia. <laughs> yeah, right man. Was, <laughs> right between her foot. Yeah. Right, right between, that's, that's gonna be right between her vagina. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I'll explode. Uh, when I saw that picture, I was like, wow, man. I said, you niggas are really getting wicked, bro. Yeah. Well, they got they're told to do all that, innit? You know? They're told to yeah, do all that. Told. Yeah. Slaves, basically, you know? They're told to do that. So, what did I tell you to get? Malachi 1 and 4, I think. Malachi, this is Malachi 1 and 4. No, you can go to the first one. Because right. you're talking about the Moors, the Moors. Yeah, we were the, we were the people called Moors, man. But the word Moor means black, and you've looked up the word Negro, and it means what? Just black, man. Black, black, black means thingy, dark, Before dirty, dusty, evil, void yeah. of light. Exactly. And she couldn't even get that? But, but she still call herself black? There you so, go, because it's so, That's what I'm saying, that, that, that conditioning is so far ingrained, so ringed within our minds, man. You know, it's very difficult to. It's almost like you're breaking or somebody down. I didn't say that. You're a fair cop. You're a fair cop. <laughs> I didn't say anything. He's a Londoner. Nah, he's a Londoner. He's a Londoner. He's a Londoner. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. I remember. How you doing? Yeah, F and OK though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. Have a good evening. All right, man. All right. Yeah, stuff from verse one. This is Malachi. Are you going to say something? I'm saying so far, so rude in all minds that. It's almost like you're breaking somebody down, like you're breaking everything that she that she stands upon, that she swears by. Yeah. So it's yeah. almost like she's naturally gonna reject it because that's you know, it's almost like you're you're destroying her, almost. Yeah. She can't. She takes that much. Gonna have to start again. She's gonna have to start start fresh again. Yeah. And, like, and, and, and she's developed a lot of pride and a yeah. lot of self-esteem, but from what she knows. Yeah. So when you're trying to destroy it, it's almost like, no, 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 don't do that, <laughs> that type of thing. Yeah. I'm trying to say, she's going to reject it. No, I'm an Egyptian. You're an Israelite. No! You know what I mean? A garlic to a vampire. Yeah, garlic to a vampire, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's after first problem. Because you talked about the Middle Ages. Yeah, man, we ruled the Middle Ages. But what are we ruling now? Nothing, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see? That's why a woman that's so called educated in this society, we don't even waste time, man. She's doing a good job. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's coming to you Esau shit, man. Yeah. Yeah. She's going to preach you Esau shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, very comfortable, she, she man. She's probably on her way to get her own, her own house. She ain't thinking about what you're going to teach her, man. Yeah. She's looking at you already, like, you know, 
Who are you? You know what I'm saying? I went to this, um, you know, to that radio interview in the summer mm. about sickle cell. And when I went to the woman's house, she had a house in South Croydon, a four bedroom house, spare room, uh, uh, three floors. I can't believe it, man. It's like, Who said that again? Uh, it's a Benjamite woman's house. She, she has a radio in um, a radio station on the internet. She does it from her own house. So I drove there, it was in South Croydon. Should have seen the house, man. It was on an Edomite road, full of Edomite houses, and she had three floors, four bedrooms, and I couldn't believe it. She was a single woman. I said, are you married? She's like, um, well, I had a marriage, we split up. She did all of that by herself. So of course, of course, women like that, they're not going to respect us. This is their time to rule as well, isn't it? Yeah, this is a yeah, so woman's time to rule and be wicked, man. Yeah. That's why they don't like this, because this is order. This is subjection. This is, you have to submit to the Lord, man. The average woman, Israelite woman now, black woman, she don't even want to submit because this man has put um, thoughts in her head that she's equal. Um, they had what? International Women's Day the other day? Yeah, you just said that, yeah. Yeah, International Women's Day, man. Yeah. Fuck that oh, shit, man. Yeah. Fuck with that shit, man. That was yesterday. Fuck that shit, man. That was yesterday. Tomorrow, tomorrow is like Mother's Day. Yeah, Mother's Day. Yeah. 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 Goes all, tomorrow is Mother's Day. Yeah. Um, 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 no, fuck with that, man. My mom was expecting me to give her a Mother's Day card. Yeah, fuck with that, man. I ain't doing that, man. I already told her, man. My mom's not expecting <laughs> nothing from me. She knows. <laughs> she already knows yeah. about yeah. that, man. I ain't, I ain't with all that, man. Yeah. Father's Day, Mother's Day, none of that yeah. garbage, man. I ain't with that, man. Yeah, man. And even if I even if I was with it, I'm broke, so I can't get you nothing. You know exactly. I'm broke even if I want you, I still cook you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the best one. Right, this is Malachi one and one. Yeah. It says the burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. Burden. Sometimes you gotta listen to the words, man. The burden. This is this was a burden to Malachi, man. All right. And to the people. And the word Malachi means what? I think it means messenger, is it? I think so. Yeah, one purpose. Yeah. It says, uh, verse 2, it says, I have loved you, saith Yahweh, yep. yet you say, wherein hast thou loved us? And this is us, God. Was, was not Esau Jacob's brother, yep. saith Yahweh, yep. yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau. So, uh, he loves Israel, Israelites, and hated what? Esau. Right, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. And that happened. 193 AD is a very important time. Even the History Channel, if you go on YouTube, put Septimius Severus, the History Channel done a very good five, 10 minute video about him, man. And they even say that he was black, all right? Yeah, yeah from um, North Africa, basically. See? Yeah, there's pictures of Where is Edom saith, we are impoverished but we will return and build the desolate places. And they were impoverished because what, so Timmy Severus, they thought he was going to be a puppet for the Senate and Congress. He did his own thing, man. He got all his Israelite soldiers and said, no, these Israelites are my people. They can worship freely in churches. Before that, we had to worship underground, man. Uh, what's it called in Vatican in the catacombs? All right, that's how persecuted we were. See? Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, yep. they shall build but I will throw down, yep. and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. That's who the wicked is, that's who the Edomites are. Forever, man. So you can't, you ain't, you're, you're wasting your time trying to have it. The only good thing about her was she didn't like them either. But when I asked her who's our number one enemy, she didn't want to say it. Remember, I was like, yeah, she didn't want to say it, man. She said the slave. Yeah, she said Asians and whatever. Yeah, See, you niggas are scared, man. That's why we are uh, 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 boldly come out here and tell them, yeah, um, if you've got your pocket for. Yeah? Mean, yeah. What does it mean in Malachi? It means messenger or my angel. All right, Malachi means what? Messenger or my angel. There you go. So Malachi was giving you a message, man. Yeah, but angel means messenger. But that's it. So he said the burden of Malachi. So this was on his, his, his um, heart, man. This is burden in his mind man all right and he said Edom is gone but he's gonna build rebuild the desolate places and they did and you niggas helped them man you felt sorry for them let them out the Caucasus and now they're over you man and they swept your history under the carpet like you didn't exist there you go it was it was gradual see like uh, remember it was, it was when, they, when they opened the borders for the Indians 
the Indians are just little guys who just do the shitty jobs or whatever. And then now, how many years has it been? Like 50 years or whatever. Now they've got shops everywhere. Yeah. So it's the same with Eason. Just brought them to be used. And then gradually they just kept on coming up. Like that movie, the Borgias. You seen the Borgias, in it? They showed you how uh, pretty oh, much Eso took over the Roman, the Roman Catholic Church. Yeah. yeah. That's how they got in power after that now. And and um, that was in Spain, isn't it? Yeah. That yeah, was, yeah, yeah. This is Spain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's always, it's always gradual. It's not overnight. Yeah. It can be, it can be hundred years, two hundred years. Yep. Three hundred years. Yep. Like Jack, man. Three hundred years ago, man. You know. We wear same clothes man, for the whole year, and then now look at look where Jack is man, driving the nice cars, whatever. It's always gradual. Yeah, I would say, compared, I always say, 1400s to 1700s. Look up the history. When you read about more um, uh, wars, more wars, that was always us versus the Edomites. And because the Lord said we'll go in slaving ships, they won, man. So they put us on boats and, and uh, sold us to the colonies, man. Even the Roman Empire, it was all gradual as well, because before they were in power, they destroyed Jerusalem, took us in slavery. Yeah. But then over time, we took over the, we took over the Roman Empire, and then we drove them out. There you go, man. Always happens over time. That's what. Time, yeah. That's why the Lord said, "Be patient when you go to a lower state, man. We we have to be patient in this captivity, man. That's all we have to do. But we have to keep our integrity. A lot of our people don't have integrity, man. That's the one thing I'm learning, man. No self pride." nothing all right i get john 15 and uh, uh 22. did i tell you again? So, and, uh, first kings. yeah first kings 10 and 9. yeah yeah because a lot of the especially the white christians online oh but the lord did away with the israelites he did away with them and he opened it up all right we'll see man all right this is first kings 10 and 9 it says Blessed be the Lord yeah, thy power, which delighted in thee to set thee on the throne of Israel. See, that's what the Lord is going to do, set us on a throne, man. Why would you sell out for peanuts when you're going to have everything, man? Why have the um, starter when you're going to have the main course? Because Yahweh loved Israel forever, therefore made he the king to do judgment and justice. I get Malachi 3 and 6. See if that changed. The Lord said He loved us forever, man. And the Lord does love us, because look, showing our people who they are now, man. If they accept it, they accept it, they don't, they don't. But once you tell them, there's no excuse. You got that one? John uh, 15 yeah. and 22. This is saying John 15 and 22, and yeah. it says, If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had, they, it's like it. yeah. they had not had sin. But now they, they have no cloak for their sin. So when we come out and teach you this word, like that woman there, she knows, she, if she doesn't accept it, fine. She doesn't accept it, but she knows now, man. So there's no excuse. Now the Lord is justified in killing her ass. You know what I mean? So we're really helping the Lord to... <laughs> we're really helping the Lord to sift you niggas, man. The two thirds, you know what I mean? You're coming up, you're getting condemned, and then he's going to kill you, man. All right, go on. It's at Ezekiel 3 and 17 and he says, yep. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Yep. Therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning for me. That's it. See? When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. When it says wicked, it's about a lot of our people, but a lot of our people are becoming very wicked. In Jeremiah um, 5 and 26. See? Thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest warn the wicked from his wicked way yep. to save his life yep. the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity by his blood who are required at thine hand there you go so you have to tell our people listen you're doing this you're doing that you're initial life if you don't come you're gonna get put to death once you've said it that's it man you've told them if it registers it registers if it doesn't it doesn't man listen i'm telling you man when you come into this truth you want to tell everyone that they're israelites same joy you have, they don't have it. They're like, oh, okay, all right. I saw the woman the other day in, in a West Indian shop. I said, Mozart was black. And she looked at me strange and I showed her the picture. Oh, they're dead, man. I'm telling you, they're dead. Some of them, you just think to yourself, why did I even bother? Yes, yeah, women, why did you bother? Yeah, why did you, but the, hey, the niggas are the same way. The men are the same way, man. You know, it's a bit more in there, I think. 
He says, verse 19, he says, Yet if thou won the wicked, and he turned, and he turned not, not from his wickedness, yep. nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, yep. but thou shalt de shall, but thou hast delivered thy soul. There you go. So us doing this, we're washing the blood of our hands, man. All right? Even our families. Anyone in your family care about this? No? What about you? Anyone in your family care about this truth? What about you? They condemn it, man. All my family, all condemn it. All condemn it. Same with you? Same with me, my man. My family's ashamed of me. My mom, my mom's side. There you go, man. No shame, man. Oh, you can get that. That's, that's prophecy, Matthew 10. And you can start from 30. That's prophecy that your family's gonna be against you, man. All right? There's one in here, though. What did I ask you to Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, this is Jeremiah 5 and 26. Oh, okay. Uh, you know what? We'll start from this one. 23. Jeremiah 5 and 23. Yep. But this people have a revolting and a rebellious heart. And that woman had a rebellious heart, man. And even when she got stumped, when he stumped her, well, where's all these pictures? Where'd that come from? She couldn't answer it, but she was still yapping her mouth. Continue. They are revolted and gone. And she's gone, man. She's gone. <laughs> all right? When I say gone, you're like, look at her like, they're gone, leave, leave that nigga. Leave us, say they in their heart. Let us now fear Yahweh our power. She doesn't fear God. She doesn't even believe in God. Does she? Yeah. That giveth rain both the former and the latter in his season he reserveth unto us the appointed weeks of the harvest that's right your iniquities have turned away these things and your sins have withholden good things from you that's the reason why in congo we're talking about in what king leopold chucking off their hands what did you say about the chocolate <laughs> Chocolate hands, you know, and they used to sell them what? Still selling chocolate hands, representing the hands that need the chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate hands. hands. Chocolate hands. Yep. So you know, like a chocolate, but in a hand, mm. the, shape the shape of a hand. They sell it in Belgium to remember them of the glory days when they had Israelites in Congo and chopping off their hands when they didn't make um, enough rubber. Because what they were doing, they were going to treat sap rubber and you had um, colonial uh, uh, officers and then they'll look at the quota and if it was a little bit off they'd grab their hand and just chop it man oh yeah yeah that, under, that underground thing as well he was picking cotton if he didn't pick enough cotton when you were getting lashes man. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. little boy like there's this little boy so the brother i don't ask for any of your brothers man for you but yeah that's what they do you didn't pick enough man though you're being with me little boy man about five six seven years old yeah. you're supposed to pick about 300 grams or whatever and he was just shot and the big brother, the, the older brother was like, damn man, he sucked bugs with him because he knew he was going to get whooped. Little yeah, boy, man, little boy. Mm. There you go. But that's in the curses. Deuteronomy 28. I don't know which one. I think you can kind of see why our people hate. So, that level of hate is being shown to you, you're going to know what that hatred is. That, that, that vibe is going to be passed into you. You're going to wind up hating yourself. Yeah. If you're being grabbed up, if your hate curse is being grabbed up and severe hatred is being shown to you, you're going to wind up Hating yourself and slapping yourself and hating yourself. Man. The next person that looks like you, isn't it? That's why they, they hate each other, man. You know? You've done a good job. Very good job. You've done a very, hey, yeah, done a, a very, job. very good job, man. You know? And what was he doing there? The jealousy business. It's a bit more, yeah, let's see what this is. It says, for, for among my, this is verse 26, Jeremiah 20, 6 and 20, 5 and 26. It's one of the curses where it says, For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set him snares and they set a trap. They catch men. And that, that Black Panther film is a little bit of a trap, man. Um, you gonna see it? I haven't seen it yet. We're gonna go and see it. Yeah, but, yeah hold on me, hold on me. But I'm, yeah, yeah, that's what you're saying. But, yeah, I was supposed to go and meet him to do it. Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna go and see it. But there's, when I saw clips of it, they had, um, you know, that the Hamite thing that they put on their neck? You know, the little wire thing? Mm. Hey, that's not us, You're going to see man with a plate in his lip and yeah, everything. Yeah, a plate in the lip and all yeah. that. That's not our Madness. culture at all, man. Those were, um, uh, if you go on YouTube, the it's people. Mondo Madness. 
mm. when uh, you have Africans putting their head up a cow, man, mm. thinking it's sacred, let the cow pee on them. And, and you're trying to claim that culture, man. No, that's not, that's an insult to your ancestors, man. We weren't like that, all right? Mm. It says, as a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of the sea. That's right. Therefore they are, they, therefore they are become great and waxen rich. That's it. And that's our enemies, they become rich. They are waxen fat, yep. they shine, yea, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. There you go, it says they're overpass. You niggas are overpassing the deeds of the wicked. And when we say niggas, we're talking about all you, like you El Salvadorians. I mean, when you go to El Salvador, watch a program about it, they're killing each other in an alarming rate, man. MS-13, Latin Kings, drugs, guns, all right? They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper, and the right of the needy do they not judge. And that's our people, like, what's his name? Flo Dollar, um, what's this other guy? Jesse Jackson. A lot of our people are waking up to them. Even the two thirds are waking up to the fact that these guys are dangerous. So when they went to Ferguson, they ran him out. They said, listen, go away, man. We don't want you, man. You're here for the white man. And, and he goes, what are you here for? And, he, and our Sharpton goes, I'm here to talk about Jesus. <laughs> and he said, it's so cool, you know? He goes, really, Jesus? What's Jesus gonna do? What's Jesus gonna do? What's he done for us? They ran him out, man. They ran him out, and, and his bodyguard had to hold them back. Even the two thirds are waking up to you niggas, man. <laughs> says, shall I not visit for these things? Yep. Say if you have shall, my, shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? That's right. A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely, yep. and the priests bear rule by their means. That's and my it. people love to have it so. And that's why when you go, um, when you do these videos and stuff, whatever group you're in, you go every week, look at your comment board, but there's people that ask some questions. Like there was one woman that said, I got I'm getting confused. When the Bible says, love your enemy, but then you're saying that the Bible says he hates Esau. You know, what does that mean? I, I had to explain it to her. So you have to read the comments and reply to them, man. Because there's a lot of genuine people wanting real answers, right? As long as Esau's come back question, you like your enemy. Yeah, 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 yeah. You like yeah, that yeah. one, innit? That's uh, the one they like to If I'm your enemy, you're supposed to love me, right, the Bible and when, says. And when did he love his enemies when September 11th happened? He didn't say anything about love. They were talking about revenge, man. Yeah. That's what they were going on about. Okay. They weren't talking about it, man. They went and done it. <laughs> yeah, they just went. They did Yeah, they talked for five minutes, and they went and done it, man. Okay. Any more on that? Just uh, yeah, we'll read that one again. It says, yeah. The prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests bear rule by their means. And my people love to have it so. And what will ye do in the end thereof? And our people do like to have it so, because you know the church. What's that thing? Do you remember that program, Truth About Hip Hop? Where um, that pastor, it's a Christian pastor, um, Craig Lewis, brought out a series called The Truth About Hip Hop, and he was talking about the Satanism that was in hip hop. The Lord put the spirit on him to do that, man. Now, this, this, he probably thinks Jesus is a white man, but the Lord gave him that to warn you niggas, man. All right? But they prophesy for what? Higher, man. They teach falsely. And that's our people, and they were back then, therefore they're back now. Right? Ecclesiastes um, 1 and 9. Well done, one. Finish it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1, and it says, Then shall the righteous, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness yep. before the face of such, such as have afflicted him. Yep. And made no account of his labors. And, and that's one of the good examples is Congo, man. They made no account of his labors. And if you missed one quota of rubber, they cut your hands off, man. No anesthetic, nothing, man. The Arabs as well. The Arabs, they castrated a lot of jakes. That's why the Arab slave trade, we didn't multiply as much as the transatlantic slave trade. My brother brought that out, which is quite true. They castrated the men because they knew that they were Ishmaelites. And they, they heard the Bible think where Israel will be a great nation. So they took our women. Every two slaves, two of them were our women. 
so they can fuck the woman and then he will come out. An Ishmaelite, man. Yeah, 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 because uh, even right now, that, thing, that whole slavery thing in Libya, when uh, all them Israelites were going there, them Nigerians and whatever, yeah. like the men were being, uh, uh, were being put separate from where the women were, but then after the, the whole international community started doing something about it, and then uh, when they let, they let the people go, all the women were back pregnant, every single one of them. That's it. Every, all the women are just being raped, being used as sex toys and everything else. Man. They all went back with babies. So really? what are they going to do now with them children? They should separate those children and cast them away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or kill, or kill them as soon as they're born and kill them. Or just kill all the women. Uh, in, um, well, that's what I'm saying. Because they're defiled now. Yeah. But I'm just saying that because in, in, there's so much corruption in Nigeria, they're probably going to have them from babies. Yeah. And yeah. keep them babies. Yeah. They let them grow up and whatnot. No, you should separate them children and say, no, you're, you're, you're a heathen. You're not a monk. That's what you're supposed to do. Hey, in, 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 uh, in Nigeria, they got so much crime, man. There's a channel called, um, all the young women, all the old women, they say that we're pregnant. We're going to get the Hebrews, man. Yeah, we're going to get them. We're going to get them. I'm telling you. We're get, that's what I'm saying. Is, that's why when I seen all this stuff, I'm thinking this is just for what this is just a, a prelude to what's gonna happen in the kingdom, man. Right. In the kingdom, the way I'm gonna do the Ishmael, the way I'm gonna do them. I hate them. They're second on the list. Yeah, Edom, yeah. Ishmael, they're top of the list. They're, those That's are our, well, yeah. our direct yeah. brethren. Yeah. The Ishmaelites and, 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 and the Edomites. Mm. We we we're the second son to the white man, and Isaac was the second son to Abraham. Yeah. So we're, we're direct brethren, that's why them two did us the most evil, because they're jealous of us. Man. And them, um, them so-called Arabs in North Africa, a lot of them are, if you look at them, there's one woman that comes on RT, talk about um, Yemen and all that, she looks like a white woman, man. And I, you always got to remember that um, before World War I, you had the Ottoman Empire. They started by taking us down, man. Mm. That place called Istanbul was Constantinople, they took mm. us down, mm. all right? And then they had an empire that ended, at World War One, and then World War One, and they conquered North Africa as well, man. So some of them so-called Ishmaelites, some of them are Edomites, man. They're just Ottoman Turks from the Ottoman Empire. That's why some of them look so white, man. I was looking at the woman. I said, "It's a white Muslim, a white Arab, but they're Ottoman Turks, man." That's why you got to know history, man. All right. That's why what the Bible says, "What blessed is he that readeth, man." And I'm, 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 a, I'm, I'm an example of that. Because before I came into this truth, I never used to read it all, man. The only thing I used to read was the news of the world. <laughs> page three first, you know what I mean? <laughs> page three. <laughs> you know, page three, man. I never used to read at all, man. You know? But now, when you're into this, you wanna you read all the time. You know? That's what you gotta read about history, your history, man. And if you don't want, and it's funny because the Edomites are obsessed with our history more than us. They do programs on us. They got one called Britain Slavery Secrets. A, a, a black guy's presenting it, but I eat him out. He goes, I want to dispel the myth that slavery was an elitist thing. I'm here in Bristol, and on this road, every white family in the 1700s had stocks in slave holding companies. Every single one, he said. So that myth saying that the, um, the average white person didn't benefit from slavery is a myth. And he goes, it's a lie. So good documentary. Every nation has had a hand in our destruction. Every nation. Is that, isn't it? I'm That's telling it. you, the kingdom ain't gonna be. It's like Ecclesiastes two slavery. and ten. Is that one? I think Ecclesiastes two, Ecclesiastes two and ten. Two and it ten. It says, "What nation ain't taken of the spoils?" Oh, it's in this yeah. one. This one, yeah. What yeah. nation? I'm sure Ecclesiastes okay, yeah. two and ten. Ecclesiastes what? two and ten. What you nation? Get that, get that. Get that. Get that first. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get that one. What did I ask you to get? Every nation's had a hand, man. Yeah. That's why when the kingdom comes, bro, I'm telling you, I'm not going to do no light work on the heathens. I'm going to be pillaging them, man. Is it two and ten? Is it two and ten? I'm going to be pillaging them, man, for real. It's going to be some serious vandalization. Uh, you know what? Serious, man. We're going to be immortal on them, man. We're 